dream daily. So I just, I just have a, a Lambo as my daily then. If it's my dream, if, I, it's, yeah, if Bungie it's, isn't unlimited, it's, yeah, but it, if I can just it's throw it away. It's, it's impractical. You can't parallel park a Lambo. You can if you have an unlimited budget. Do you mm, want to fuck you want? No, because <laughs> the... That's, that's the question. What's the question? Yeah, you have unlimited money, so uh, yeah, I drive, I drive a Ferrari as my daily. It would just be uncomfortable to drive around. I'd get the new, I get the new Tesla Roadster that is, hasn't actually come out yet, but that's what I'd run. What's the question? What's your dream daily car? Hmm? What's your dream car that you'd use daily? F12 burden liter. Okay. It's not a daily. Thing. <laughs> it is if you rich. It is if you're unlimited. <laughs> 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 it is if you rich as fuck. That's basically Scott's answer to everything. So yes, Lucy was talking about earlier. She's saying, "Why aren't we vlogging too much?" And the point, of the reason why we aren't vlogging too much, people, is because I am absolutely ramo. Like some people don't get this kind of mentality that we have, and the mentality we have is now that we'll work absolutely ridiculous hours, work the most nut schedules, build as many businesses as possible. Um, with the sort of thought that as the compound effect takes its toll, these businesses will start to stand on their own, and then over time, um, things will become, yeah, huge, like empire. So we're literally throwing everything we can possibly think of. Now look, here is sort of some new ads for the Serena Grant. Um, I've just been in Digital Peaks, and we've got lots of clients up at the Avalanche, taking Avalanche to the US. It's mad, but the mentality is long-term. Work, do what? Do now what others won't do so that you can do later what others can't do. That's the quote we're looking for. And it's really fun and I'm having a great time. But it does mean that vlogging sometimes takes the back seat because we've got so much work to do. So, yeah, that's my tweet. That's on that. Josh, summarise this What's the difference? What, this what is want? the point. Is know your margins. Okay. Can you just summarise the point for me so I can write it? Know your margins? Yeah. So know your margins is know how much everything costs you in your business so that you can work out how much your revenue is minus your costs. Know how much everything costs, costs you to run your business. Costs me to run my business. Because then you'll be able to take your revenue minus the costs and know exactly how much money you make, which is your margins. Tip of the day, know your margins. Lucy knows her margins. You're getting there. You didn't know what revenue was before you came to have lunch. Mm. She didn't know what revenue was. Now she does. Now she's a revenue genius. I did A level business. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Next to you. And See I that? You. School doesn't teach you shit. <laughs> you taught me <laughs> stuff. Practical stuff, you know. So look what we've just arrived in the post from the big main man, Damon John. Thanks to uh, Damon and Matt over at um, his company because um, I'm a VIP ambassador for them so they sent me this book. I don't even think it's out yet, um, which is cool. So I'll give it a read and let you guys know what, know my thoughts on it. But when it does come out, make sure you check this out because it's, um, you know, Damon is a really, really cool guy. Super practical, super like, you know, granular level knowledge um, that you can really actually implement instead of all this bollocks that you can just think about, um, which is awesome. So definitely recommend hanging out and uh, checking out some of his videos and also read his other book as well, which is really, really good. So, yeah. Okay. To increase your margins is, is by raising, raising? <laughs> raising your prices. Another tip for you. Isn't there a fact that you should raise your prices every so many months or something? I mean, it's not like a genuine fact, but it's something that's suggested. What is going on <laughs> up here? <laughs> hey. It's okay. <laughs> uh, can I grab a pork? I messed up my Serena Grant as well. She did what? She messed up. How? Serena Grant. How does that work? Customer service is just terrible. She, she, how did she mess up? She cancelled my one for today and then rebooked mine for next week, like when it was meant to be for tomorrow. No, no issues on this, Rose. Don't worry, you're great at shameless, isn't it? Really, yeah, it's a bit harsh. Yeah. 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 Rose is yeah. scary, yeah. guys. Like, yeah. I'm not going to call up and tell her she messed yeah. up. Yeah. Well, head to SerenaGrant.co.uk forward slash book now and book your appointment. The link will be here. Book your own appointments because they obviously can't do it. Apparently, I just learnt. I should have prepared something. If I pulled out a piece of paper now, that'd be great. 
You guys just have to say. Uh, no, he should finish. I, I think most people should finish. It's just because of how he's going to finish. Don't put this as a problem. 93. Yeah. Oh, he's worked at the forest. Yeah, that is that's strong from him. Strong from him. Fair enough. We'll send this in the uh, he doesn't mail. Know. What? He's, Let's so put he, all this in the blog. He lives in Florida. He has a red Ferrari. Steve Cook. And he's got his girlfriend. This is April. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I think that's from cool. that's yeah, him. He was like, he's like, speak to Josh, you'll like him. He was like, oh, she's, I had a conversation with her face. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Scott, for that. Where's, where's the weapon part? Man's got his Volvo uh, up here. Right, so I've just finished up from probably one of the most nuts weeks we've ever had. Um, just finished up with causes now, coming up to 7 o'clock on Friday night. Um, it's been pretty, pretty damn full on, but amazing. Um, we've had such a great week in terms of the team being, everyone being engaged and just seeing lots of things flourish that we've been working on for a long time. I think that's one of the things you've got to, you've got to realize when you're building this is that sometimes it feels like you're not getting anywhere. Sometimes it feels like you're, you're battering against the wall and you're not, you're not getting to the point where you can see results. But if you just put the work in and you, and you do the work and you do the work and you do the work and you do the work, the compound effect is going to help you. And thankfully, we've got such an amazing team around here that everyone is putting the effort in. You know, 20, 25 people across the world now that are just shoving the effort in, um, you know, in order for us to create this vision. So. You know, if my tip would be create a vision and then hire the people that you, around you that will help you do that vision because it's going to make your life ten times easier um, and it's going to make this whole thing way more worth it in the long run. Guys, thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. Um, you know, stay tuned for the next few weeks. There's going to be lots of stuff happening, lots of traveling, lots of crazy cool stuff happening. So um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't done already. And I'll see you on Monday.